come to do some fence mending. Do you have a minute? Come on in. Steve called and uh, told me he was keeping you on the staff. Yes. He's been very generous about it, I must say. Mm hmm I guess you know that Leslie played a big part in his decision. And not to say that Steve doesn't make up his own mind, but her opinion carried a lot of weight. I know. He told me what she'd done. I'm very grateful to her. Look, it, it isn't easy for me to come here and ask for favors, but it seems I have to. Steve said he'd keep me on, but he couldn't guarantee whether I could stay on your service. He said he wouldn't recommend it, and that it's your decision to make. I know. He told me. Rick, I want to stay on your service. Is there any way you can separate the harm I've done you personally with my professional ability? You know, you once asked me if I thought you'd make it as a surgeon. And I wasn't any more certain then than you were. But you've proven you can do it, Monica. You can be a top surgeon. And if Steve can separate the personal from the professional, well, I guess I can, too. You can stay on my service if you want to. Thank you. Thank you, Rick. But just keep on doing the kind of work you're capable of. That's all I ask. I'll do my best. something else? Yes, uh, there's one other thing. Gina told me that you disqualified yourself if Jeff's baby should need surgery. If you decide he does, I'd like to assist Dr. Raymond. You would? Why not? I don't have any emotional involvement with Jeff. That ended a long time ago. Maybe I can make up to him in some small way for the pain I caused him. Be married.